Good boy. Good boy, Saxon. Good job, sir. Good job, Saxon. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. So the process will be we'll teach him how to walk like this, and I'm kind of using my body as a guide rail mm -hmm. so he can't go right or left too much. And I use the collar a little bit to guide, but I never put pressure on the collar if he's in the right spot. Like he's loose right now because he's doing everything good. If he tries to go left or right, I'll use just enough pressure to keep him on. Good. But immediately get loose if he's doing the right thing. Because I don't ever want to put pressure on a dog that's doing good. Right? But I'm using my body as kind of a guide to keep him in the middle. So that way he'll walk straight instead of going. Right. Eventually, what I'll do is I'll step off of him with one leg. So he gets accustomed to that leg not being there. Mm -hmm. And then I'll do it a little bit standing awesome. beside the treadmill. And then once I can stand beside the treadmill, I'll start standing in different places and moving around the treadmill. So he learns, like, I don't have to be standing here for the 20 minutes that you're on the treadmill. And then, then eventually you just hook, so you just hook him up eventually and then he can... This is a good first starting place, you know what I'm saying? Good boy, so Saxon. And I can guide him and he's not doing it by himself. So to eventually, like, you could tie him up to it, and he'll just go and walk, and hopefully... No, not to tie him up. Eventually, I'll go. Oh, and he'll okay. Jump on away from me to turn it on. Oh, I've seen people away, hook them up. Okay. Good. I'm proud of you, buddy. Good. And then I'm not going to let him on until I go and run. Okay. And that's okay. 